a simple pendulum released at point A swings down to the lowest point B and then up to the end point at C before swinging back. What is the direction of acceleration of the pendulum bob when it is at point B and when it's at the point C? At point B, it is moving on a curve. That means it has a direction change. It has this uh, centripetal acceleration going towards the center. At the lowest point B, over here, just lo very locally, there is no height change. This path is leveled horizontal. So there's no height change, there's no speed change over here. That means uh, there is no tangential acceleration. So the only acceleration goes towards the center. So for number one, the answer is B. Another way to look at this here is before the object gets to B, it is speeding up. After it is slowing down, so just right at that moment at B, there is no speed change. That's why there is no tangential acceleration. Now let's look at number two. At point C, it is on a curve. Does it have centripetal acceleration? At point C, what do you think is the speed? At point C, the speed is zero because it's a turning point. So the speed is zero. And the centripetal acceleration is V squared over R. So even though it is on a curve, but because the speed at that particular moment is zero, there is no centripetal acceleration. But there is tangential acceleration because uh, when the object goes, gets to C, if it's on its way up, it is slowing down. That means the acceleration is in the opposite direction. The acceleration would be down that way, tangent to the path. Or if you look at it as it's uh, on its way down, on its way down, it would be speeding up. That means uh, the acceleration and the velocity, they are in the same direction, which will also give you a tangential acceleration going down that way. So you do have tangential acceleration. So number two, the answer is uh, B. This problem is kind of tricky. This is the top view of a spinning merry-go-round. The merry-go-round is spinning in a clockwise direction. Two people are sitting on the merry-go-round, A and B. A tries to throw a ball to B by aiming the ball straight at B. Relative to the ground, which of the following best describes the trajectory of the ball after it is thrown? In this problem, the observer is on the ground. So if you are standing on the ground and look at the ball, the ball will get two velocities. One velocity from person A throwing the ball to the right. So the ball gets a velocity from the person. But the moment the ball leaves the hands of A, the ball has exactly the same velocity as A. A is on the merry-go-round spinning, which means that A has a velocity that is tangent to the circle, which means that the moment the ball leaves A's hand, it also has this velocity of A that is tangent to the circle going that way. So the ball leaves the hands of A with two velocities, one going around the merry-go-round, velocity tangent to the circle, and the velocity from A's force towards the center. So the total velocity, if you add these two velocities, you would get a velocity that is uh, this, diagonal. So this is the total velocity, the diagonal line, 
and the, after the ball leaves A's hand, it experiences only gravity in the vertical direction. There is no force acting on the ball in the horizontal direction. So in the horizontal direction, the ball is just going to travel at a constant velocity, which means uh, constant velocity along a straight line. So the answer is uh, B. Now, what if we look at the trajectory of the ball as seen by a. Now A is spinning with the merry-go-round, but instead of seeing the ball going straight following this path, what happens is that just at a position closer to the rim, the ball has a faster speed than the merry-go-round floor over here because the floor over here has a smaller circumference to travel in one cycle compared to this point. So the speed of the floor is faster here, slower there. The ball here has the same speed as the floor over there. So when the ball travels inward, it has a speed that's along the spinning direction, faster than the floor over here. Therefore, the ball is going to go ahead of the floor in that direction, tangent to the circle tangent to this circle. So the ball is going to curve that way. So for observer A on the merry-go-round or B on the merry-go-round, for an observer on the merry-go-round, the path of the ball would go like this.